Hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show how to add a scrolling indicator at the top of the page when user uh, progress reading the article or whatever uh, the document. So whenever a user scrolls in, we will show at what percentage he has already read and what is remaining for them. So it's visually easy for user to understand how much is left for him to view. So for this, uh, I have a demo application which has a sample uh, lorem ipsum text so here i am going to uh, create a new component uh, for the scroll indicator and i am going to show how to make uh, the progress bar so for that uh, let me create a component so that we can uh, reuse this component wherever uh, we want in our application so let me create a file index.js I use a uh, react snippets to create a functional component let me name it of scrolling indicator so this is very just simple component where you will just have a progress bar for this I'm going to use a package called uh, react use to track the user scroll event in the DOM but you can actually use uh, Windows uh, document listener for uh, the scroll so it doesn't matter I'm using a built-in uh, hooks uh, library for this purpose there was a lot of uh, other hooks available in this uh, ready-made so you can use this for a lot of purposes in this I'm going to use a uh, Windows scroll uh, hook so let me uh, install it using npm this will provide uh, the event callback and uh, the position of the current uh, scroll x and y position right now i was i was interested in uh, y because i was looking into this vertical scroll bar So the package has been installed. So let me import it. Okay, before that, let's create the container for uh, the scroll bar and name it the scroll container. And other uh, div which is the indicator. Let me import React use use call. So actually, use Windows call. So it's just straightforward. We just stop. Uh, spread those xy values from that out of it and then here I'm going to use uh, use effect hook so that whenever the y position changes this effect will trigger and it will calculate the percentage of uh, the progress bar for this uh, it accepts a parameter and uh, the dependency list where I'm going to pass this y as a dependency Here first off, the concept is we need to find uh, the remaining portion out of the user's uh, viewport. That means that's the remaining part that user needs to scroll. So we will take that and uh, we use this y and calculate the percentage of uh, user uh, percentage the user has scrolled. So for, you can get it using document uh, element dot scroll height. That is the entire article which has including the scroll. Now we are uh, subtracting it with uh, the client height. That means uh, the height of the screen or window DOM which we are uh, viewport actually. That's the height of the viewport. 
So we now know how much the user needs to scroll to reach the end of the page. So let me create a state for storing this percentage. Let me call it uh, scroller. Scrolled. And I'm going to make it set scroll for updating this. We spread it from uh, use state to now. This is the place uh, I'm going to calculate the percentage from the height and the offset or uh, top scrolled offset top of the document that we have it from y y divided by height into 100 is the percentage that we need now I use this called and set dynamically the width of the indicated element so that whenever a user scrolls in this will auto dynamically change with the value that we calculate This should be in percentage so that it cover the whole width of the screen. So let's write some CSS for this to stick it to the top of the page. I'm going to make this container as a fixed and uh, make it at the top of the page. CSS for indicator will go in here. So position will be absolute. Oh, sorry, fixed. And we make it as on the top. Left zero. It should be the hundred percent of the document. And height, however you want it, I'm going to set it for uh, 5 pixel. So I'm going to maintain this uh, thin uh, progress bar. So it depends on your design. Now, uh, however you want, you can uh, make it. There's no restriction on this. So the background color would be. I want to give some the theme color of my website. That's it. We are done with the CSS. Now we just need to uh, integrate, import this uh, scroll page and uh, use it wherever you want. So I'm going to use that in this document, the scroll indicator page. I created a new uh, page for this, so demo purpose. So all we need to do is uh, just import it and uh, integrate that inside the component. Now let's go and uh, check the demo. So whenever I start scroll, uh, the use uh, React use uh, document scroll will give me the Y position, the offset top position, and then we will calculate the percentage of how much user has scrolled to the remaining portion. So you can uh, reuse it in uh, whatever the page that you want because we made it as a separate component. So that's it, uh, this uh, very straightforward uh, scroll indicator. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe for more videos like this.